Hey y'all, it's Johnny. Today we got the adventure chair from Tribe Provisions. We're going to get it out and see exactly what she looks like. Uh, inside the package we got a uh, a flyer showing some of their other products and the uh, introduction to the chair, the features, care, warnings. One thing I did notice is it says it is engineered to hold more than 250 pounds. The construction of this aluminum shafts made of 70-75 aluminum and it looks like all the material used on this chair is a rip stop nylon, so that's good. We're going to get this out and get it set up, check it out. All right, you're going to like this. Here's the size of the pack. Not very big. You can pack into a backpack. Fit just about anywhere you want. If you're camping, packs away small. If you're hiking or backpacking, it'll fit into your pack pretty easily or tie on. That's what I like. Looks like a mess, but if you let it do its thing, simply just help guide the rods. It's got a uh, a spring cord in there pulls it all tight if you just get it simply close it'll pop in there by itself here we are with the frame there's the top there's the bottoms goes through Puts on the way it looks. Slips right through these little notches. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. little uh, loops, slots for it to slide into on the corners. goes right in there. It's under a little bit of tension, which is good. Just like that. That's how it sets up. Right, let's go over some of the construction on here. You'll see the double stitching along the bottom all the way up the back, double stitching. And I wanted to show you where the rods go in. The stitching here, you see how well that's all stitched in. It's not a single stitch, it's a real heavily stitched area because that's what's gonna be holding your weight. Same way on all four corners. Then where the seams come together, also heavily stitched cross stitched then you got a single line along the edges which that's not going to be load bearing this part of the seat is a it's like a nylon heavy screen but it feels it feels real durable it's not it's not real thin or flimsy feeling it feels like it can hold a lot of weight something I just noticed on the sides, just on the outside, you got a woven netted type pocket to hold keys, watch, wallet, jewelry, what have you. One on each side. Right there. Each side has one. So that's pretty handy. All right. I've been messing with it a bit. And um, they're thinking that most often this is going to be packed on the outside of your backpack or bag. That's why they put the loops on it here and here. Something to tie to, you know, just to uh, tie it to your bag or backpack. And it's ripstop material also. Pull strain with a keeper. 
the chair itself, leaning on it, getting comfortable in it. I was sitting in it for a little while, a while ago, and it's holding weight without a problem. I mean, I was bouncing up and down, just, just kind of putting a little bit of torture to it. You can abuse this. You, this isn't something. This isn't something you want to try to abuse. It's not something you want to be real rough with. This can be abused. It can be wore out real quick if you're not careful, if you're not conscious about it. But if you just use this as a pack chair and you take care of it, keep it clean, don't be storing it away with dirt, don't store it wet. If you take care of it and it's always packed away, not left outside in the sun and the elements all the time, this is gonna last you a long time. Uh, the aluminum's strong enough, it's short enough to where there's no weak points. If it started getting real long, then I can understand where it might have a bend point to it, but they're short enough, it's not a weak point. The material is holding real good. If you move around, there's a little bit of give to it, but I was leaning over it a while ago and bouncing up and down. Everything seems sturdy enough the way it needs to be. Now, if, if you're drunk and goofing around, you're probably going to bust this by falling over or leaning back way too far by abusing it but if you use this properly the way it's meant and the way it's designed it's going to serve you it's going to serve you perfectly it's going to it's going to do you well you ain't going to worry about it at all it seems real sturdy it seems uh, well constructed i like it but like i said yes you can possibly abuse this but it takes effort to do so it can be broke but you have to try to break it in order to break it. You know, you've got to be real careless for that to happen. But me, I'm 185, 190, depends on how wet I am. And uh, it holds me just fine. I like it. All right, there we are. Try provisions. And once again, they called it the adventure chair. Ripstop material. This will all pack down tighter. They just got a lot of extra room in that bag. But all in all, I really like it. I like the way it's constructed. Use it properly, the way it's designed for, and it's going to serve you well for a while if you take care of it the way you should. But there you go, good product.